everybody, it's Pam at the Paper Outpost. Welcome. Very happy to be back. Very happy to be talking. So excited to be with you guys again. Funny little story. Okay, I don't know if you can see it, but there's this odd little thing here. What is that, Pam? Is that your tooth? No, no, it's not my tooth. Um, apparently, <laughs> well, let's just say they don't build $10 garage sale roller chairs like they used to anymore. That's right, because um, I <laughs> sat down to do a video and let's just say there was a moment of collapse and I saw this thing shoot across the floor and I said to myself, that looks like a tooth. And anyway, I followed it and I leaned over to pick it up and the entire chair collapsed. Yes, I, I went down very gracefully. <laughs> um, um, yeah, right. Uh, so anyway, um, I am now on a kitchen chair in search of another chair. So I will, I will find another chair. Um, no worries, we craft on no matter what. That's right, we are very flexible. We are very creative and resourceful. We just move on through these little moments in life and carry on. So I thought it would be fun. I, am, I, brought, uh, I showed you this the other day. It's a, uh, it's a faux book, not a book, what is it? A book mark? No, it's a book, you know, it's this, uh, I can't think of the word right now. Oh my God, oh my God. Anyway, it's this thing that goes here, the, like the book nameplate, the book plate. Thank you, thank you, brain. Okay, must be still um, taking too much cold medicine. And if you go through enough old books, you're going to find book plates um, in the front of a lot of books. People would put their name from the library of, um, ex libris, sometimes you will see on them. Sometimes the names are filled in, sometimes they're not, depending on who, what, where. And uh, so anyway, these are fun to make with rubber stamps and any pretty paper that you might have. I'm going to use some a different variety of paper, so I'll just show you some options that I'm playing with today. And I'm going to pull out some toys I haven't played with in a long time. Um, my, dun, 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 oh, I got to back up. Dun, 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 dun. My silicone stamps, that's right, coming out from the archives. Okay, this is not how to store your silicone stamps. Okay, this is what you don't want to do. You, you don't want to, okay. This is why we learn the painful things in life. You don't want to layer them on top of each other because they stick together. They glue together and they become one big amorphous blob. And that's not good. So, of course, what did I do again? Yeah, it's not as bad as it was. I really did it with a lot. I peeled them all off and put them together. That was a disaster. So, yeah, yeah. But um, anyway, they sometimes have fun shapes to work with in here with these. So you might find, where's that sample? Like this little box, things like that. If you have like that little box shape or a little rectangle, th those are handy. Um, okay, so let me locate some of those. Hold on. Okay, so fascinatingly, I don't have that little box anymore. It must have melted and congealed into something else. So we'll try and build a workaround. And this might help people who don't have that little magic box. I have a few options and maybe we can just build something without the actual stamp. Okay, so... Um, let's, let me show you the papers. Here we go. All right, so the papers I chose, this one was actually made on a, um, uh, I think it was a coffee dyed, yeah, that's a coffee dyed piece of paper. And I cut it up and inked around it, stamp, 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 and done, cute little turtle. Yeah, gotta love that. Um, these are fun to math make if you wanna do a bunch of these, like a sit down project, maybe in front of the TV. Let me get rid of that tooth-like thing. It's not tooth, it's like some kind of plastic washer. Inferior, inferior plastic washer product. <laughs> um, yeah, I better go step on the scale. Okay, um, here is some coffee dyed paper, avocado dyed paper, uh, stenciled paper, a whole bunch of that. thought that might be fun to use. And some graph paper. So let's just take maybe one of each of these just to give us something to play with. Oh, this green one is pretty different colors. You never know what you're going to be making. Do you want pop? Do you want no pop? Um, totally up to you. It can be fun. Let me just grab one of these graph papers and we'll cut them all at once. Um, there's probably an official size for these things, but I just kind of go with what I, I like. <laughs> and um, so this one, you know, just in case anybody's wondering, is officially uh, two and seven eighths tall by two and a quarter wide just because that's the way I cut it. But let's go ahead and organize all of these. And we will cut them. Am I recording? Yes, okay. And um, yeah, the voice still sounds a little funky, but it's way better than it was. 
I am able to talk, I am able to sing, probably shouldn't be doing either, but hey, you know, gotta get on with life. Okay, um, no, it's actually, I feel fine. Um, uh, I would say maybe, maybe, um, a little wider on these. I'll go, I'll go two and a half just for fun. I know I'm measuring. I'm just trying to get some square edges here. That's impossible for me. But, um, we'll do our darndest and just cut a bunch of these up in one cutting and then we'll have lots of bases to play with. Okay. So, yeah. For those who need measurements, I would say two and a half by something. I don't know what's going to be yet. All right. Is that, is that right? That looks pretty good. So how's your day going? Are you having uh, fun? Are you hanging out with your papers today? Making some fun things? I hope so. Um, you can use one of these as a template if you want for the next one, or you can just measure again, whatever you like. Um, I think I'll just measure again. Uh, okay, here we go. One, two, half. Okay, that's pretty good. And um, you could, like I said, you can make them any width you like any length you like. Maybe you're going to make some bigger ones for bigger journals. Um, or you can just make some standard size ones that'll go in any journal. That makes it easy. Actually, I think that's going to be plenty for the video. So let us decide how long we want these. I like to collect my papers together and do as few cuts as possible. Um, you know, just to make life easier. Okay, that's pretty good. So let's do one, two, three and a half. Yeah, that's kind of good. About three and a half inches down. There we go. Sharp knives help. Always watch your blade. Okay, here we go. Oh, no, need to be on a, need to be on a, the end of a, I know, I know, I'm measuring against my will, against my will. Okay, not liking it one bit. Okay, one, two, three inches. Would I say three and a half? I think so. Yeah, and I think the other one will be just fine. The other one's a little longer. It's okay. All right, now we've got plenty to play with. Plenty for a full afternoon of fun. So a nice way to do this or a, a little, you know, factory way to do it is to clear your space if you can do that as much as you can. If you're like me, you've got tons of stuff on your desk always. And I'm just going to put these out, um, almost like I'm going to be reading tarot cards. I'm not going to be reading tarot cards. I'm going to be making book plates. And uh, it's kind of fun to see the different colors, what we're working with today. Um, they all feel a little different. Uh, papers from different time periods. It's kind of fun. All right, we'll start with that. That looks pretty good. All right. Uh, looks like I'm going to play concentration. Um, okay, so what you can do is if you don't have the box or the rectangle stamp, you can use alternative stamps. Uh, for example, I came across these label stamps. You can use these. Um, these might be a little bit um, narrow for names, but it could be done. So let's just try a couple of those and see how that comes out. If we don't like the width, then we can always switch to plan B. There's probably gonna be plan C and plan D and plan E here. Okay, I'm using black soot, distress ink. Okay, I'm rubbing, and now I'm going to press. Now, you can put this name thing anywhere you want. I'm gonna put it near the bottom. It would probably be better if I got my little foam pad underneath. Let's see how this comes out. Oh, not bad, that's actually pretty cute. All right, maybe I'll do a few like that. I'm more impressed with that than I thought it was going to be. Okay, just do some random ones here. Since you have it in your hand, you might as well do several. That way you don't have to pick it up and put it down a hundred times. Or you can work on one at a time if you just want the relaxing zen experience of it all. That's fine too. But they look really cute on there um, already. I mean, they're just like adorable. And uh, they're going to look good in so many journals. Um, what you barking at, Sunny? Yeah, Sonny really has his own voice. <laughs> he doesn't really need my help. Um, yes, he uh, has a relationship with the squirrel out back, let's just say. We'll probably be hearing from him a little later, I'm sure. Okay, so now for the other ones, if you don't have those little fancy schmancy thingamajous, um, you can maybe use something that looks like a line. So maybe you have a stamp, like I have this really weird stamp. I think it is supposed to be, let me look at it. 
I think this is like a base of a flower, a stick of a flower, and that's like the little cup with the leaves. But I'm going to turn it on its side and use it as a line. So I'm using it as a line stamp. So kind of reinventing what you have. And yes, there will be plan C and plan D, so don't, don't give up. Um, all right, I'll put you here. Oh, I think I moved on that one. I better stay still. Um, that gives a nice, uh, okay. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, let's do here. Try not to move, Pam. Why are you moving? I don't know. Okay, that's good. Maybe we do another one of these here. Oh, that's the same one. That's all right. <laughs> okay, so we did that one. Now, you can maybe you have some weird things like this. It's not truly a line, but it is a line. So I'm going to turn it upside down and pretend it's a line. And um, I guess ideally I should probably put it on one of these. Uh, okay, I don't know if it'll... Oh, it will stick. Okay, it was coming apart. <laughs> oh, high quality. <laughs> okay, let me put it like that. Okay, sticking it on there. This is kind of a half rubber stamp, half silicone stamp. I don't know what you call these things. Like, un oh yeah, unmounted red stamps. Oh, let's just try this. Oh Lord, see how it's coming apart? Well, that's not gonna be good. Let's just, let's just see what happens. Just trying to get a line down, just a line. Could use a, uh, well, that's not the greatest thing in the world. Probably should have done it the other way. Um, okay, oop, oop. Okay, that's not bad. All right, I did it upside down and I have a line, so that's good. And if, if you wanted to do another line above it to give it a little area, to put the name, we can do that. Yeah, let me go a little closer, I feel like we're far away. Okay, I'll reach over here. Oh, I want my camera over there, okay. I'm going here. Um, so I'm, I'm inking, not well, but I'm inking. I think I have enough ink on there. I'm gonna turn this so the little sticks are up. Okay, don't move too much, Pam. Don't move, just up and out of there. Okay, so we have a box-like thing. All right, that can work. Um, we have other options, which are where this little weird thing. It's a little weird stamp with a hand over here. I don't really need the hand, but this little boxy thing it says four, but I think we can, we can fly with that. Let's pretend it doesn't say four. Okay. All right. Now I got the top row already. Let me back up here to the second row. Let me try this one. I'm lifting up the hand so I don't get the hand. Pushing. Totally forgetting about this thing. Yeah. And just using my hands. Okay. Oh, I got the finger. I got the finger. That's okay, though. Nobody knows it's a finger, right? Kind of looks like a finger. Um, but I think that's cute. That'll work. Because um, four could be, you know, like it's a gift for um, Schmo. <laughs> Maybe Schmo. Uh, it's Schmo's birthday, so you're, you're going to fill in his book plate for him. Okay, here we go. That's down. All right, that's good. Now I, I know I pulled out some others. Where are they? Hold on. Okay, so maybe you have a, a rubber stamp like this that is a square box, but you could use this as the line. So let's try that. We're going to remove it from its little happy home. Maybe I should use this. Let's see if it sticks. Okay, this is maybe sticking a little better. Let's ink it. All right, here we go. Here we go, we go, we go. There. I don't know which way's up. Oh, I can see the word vegetables. Okay, that's cool. Let's do this. And push. There. So we have that. Okay, that's kind of cute. I like that. We'll do one more of those. And then we're going to have our area for... Well, that, that came out nicely, I think. Yeah, I like that. Very nice. Uh, I don't know where I got all these. I know I'm going to get asked that question. So I buy my stamps all over the place. eBay, a lot of used stamps. Etsy, sometimes new stamps. Um, if I'm looking for a special stamp, but I like... Uh, you can buy used stamps on eBay, and they're pretty reasonable, and often you can get them in a big box with a whole bunch for not too much money, so check out those. And let's see if there's any others here that I missed. Hold on. Oh, I have located, it's not truly a, well, it's sort of a, it's kind of like one of those label stamps, but it's almost the right shape. And then there's this one, which is like, it's like a little journal tag shape. That might work. Let's try that. Okay, putting that on here. Boop, there you go. Oh, okay, here, here, take this and do that. Yeah, that's a better way to do it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, all right. Now, put this down, maybe this way. I don't know why. Is there a correct right and left to this? Um, down, stamp it. Yeah, there we go. So a lot of options if you don't actually have 
the rectangle stamp, or you can even ha hand draw them in with, um, let me just do that and show you what that looks like. It's fascinating. <laughs> um, let's see if this pen works. We're finding out. Mm. Okay, now I have a grid paper, so that makes it, that does make it a little easier. All right, this is like what to do. In case you got nothing, you just draw it in. Can't see where the line is now. Okay, of course I didn't, didn't take it to the edge. Let me take it to right to the, the grid mark, the grid edge mark, so I know where to go up top, maybe two, maybe three. Okay, all the way across, all the way across. Okay. Okay, there we go. Oh, look at that. We got the box. You know, and I mean, it can be done. See, it can be done. I wanted you to know that. So use what you got. Use your stamps. Use your markers. This is a Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen in Medium. Has that kind of nub. All right. I still think these are markers, but they call them pens. I don't know. Okay. So, now we have a bunch of these. So, now, now, I completely disorganized myself here. Let me back up so you can see what we, what we have created. But if you have stayed in the game and stayed organized, like, like, you know, it would be very helpful in life. Um, now we can go on to the next step, which is going to be picking a, a little pretty picture to accent with. Um, and I've got lots of choices here, so I'm just going to grab some, and we're just going to do it. Okay, what is this? Your cute little rose. Okay, I have this rose, and I have number something. I don't know, number something. Um, let's get the black soot roll in here. I'll just have some fun with this. Okay. All right. I like to use my fingers a lot with stamping. I'm not very good with uh, the little rubber thing. Um, let me put you here. Or the plastic thing. There we go. Okay, that's nice. We'll do two of these. We'll do, like, do two or three of each. Uh, maybe the pink would complement the rose, or whatever this is. I'll do one over on the green, why not? I'm feeling wild and dangerous. Oh, I just pretty much used up the place for the name. Oh, well. Um, now what else do we have? Oh, we have lots of butterflies. Oh, there was one little butterfly left. Um, they have migrated somewhere already. Apparently they came off the plastic sheeting. That's okay. No, I don't need you. I don't need you at all. I can use plants instead. That's right. I'm going to use rosemary. How about rosemary? All right, let's just let's put you on here. You're kind of floppy. I'm back to this thing again. All right, sometimes you just got to go with the whatever feels right. You know what I mean? I mean, how much ink do you really want to get on your fingers? <laughs> sometimes I get a lot. Okay, remember, leave room, leave room for the name. So you want to go a little higher. Okay, try not to move. Oh, that came out good. Oh, I like that a lot. That's a nice one. Yeah, that's really good. Okay, so we'll do. We'll do a couple of rosemaries. Yeah, yeah, we can go right above here. Straight, aiming for straight. Oh, put the word in the in the label. That's okay. We're carrying on as if it never happened. That's right. Um, where'd my rosemaries go? Oh, here they are. Okay, I'll put you back here. What else do we have here? We have uh, vanilla. Oh, that's kind of big. Let's not do that big. Cardamom, bay leaf. This little one's cute. I don't know what you are, but you have no name. But you're coming with me. Okay, here we go. Give that little rub. And now you don't always have to do them in the same place. You can put one on an angle. You can. You can. These are yours to play with. I think it looks nice on the green ones. Planty. You know, it's the planty thing. Um, okay, we did that one. And what else do we have here? Oh, there's a butterfly. Yeah, spotted you finally. Gotcha. Butterfly and bird. Okay, so let's, let's use this butterfly. It's like a nice butterfly. Yeah, I think, feel like I should use this. I don't know why, it just feels floppy. Feels floppy. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's put the butterfly here. I'm going to put the butterfly in an angle. Can you see this? Not bad. Not bad for a rookie. A rookie stamper. Rookie Stamper signing in for, for duty. Here we go. All right. Get your butterflies down. Oh, this came, those came out nice. See, they're pretty. Aren't they pretty? I mean, this is like very easy. It's very relaxing. Um, mindless, free, just have a, a good time kind of stuff. And you can make a lot of these at once. Let me back it up a bit. Okay, yeah. This is weird sitting on the kitchen chair. Okay, so yeah, that was not my most graceful moment. 
Um, okay, I'll put the bird. Birdie bird. Oh, very nice. Yeah, that came out really good. Oh, that, why are you upside down? Okay, here we go. And chew up here. I'm going to do a little birdie bird on here. Okay. We have a nice little variety. Bird, you need to go back home. Go here from whence you came. We have, um, what else do we have around here? What's this? Merry Christmas. No. How about some, i got some flowerage here. That's nice. Yeah. All right, let's use, uh, let's use this big honker here. Looks like a sunflower or something. That might work well. Kind of go along the lines of the rose. Let's see what we got. Okay. i put this guy here so you can see him. And we're going in. Splutch. And we're down. Oh, that can look kind of cool. Yeah, I like that. That looks nice. All right, we'll do that again. Try to get a little more ink. I think I was a little shy on the ink on the one thing. Right, and we're down. There we go. Okay, very nice. Very nice. That was a good one. Let's see, I have one. Okay, these are the Dunsies. Dunsies, 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 Dunsies. Not Dunsies, 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 Dunsies. These are not Dunsies. I have three left. Okay, so they come along pretty fast. I mean, you can knock out a whole bunch of these in, you know, an hour or so. Whatever you like. Um, okay, this is kind of nice. It's a little string, string of butterflies. Can you see that? A little string of butterflies? I think, yeah. Okay, so uh, let me put that on here. Ink it up. We'll see how this goes. I have no idea. Yeah, sometimes you don't know what it's going to look like until you do it. Sometimes if you haven't used your uh, silicone stamps before, they have a film on them, and the first few stamps impressions don't look so good, and then, like, the third and the fourth look much better. So we'll just see. I don't know if I've used these before or not. Mm, a little hollow in that area. It's okay. You could always go fill that in with marker. Faber-Castell pen marker. <laughs> okay. There we go. Oh, yeah. That looks nice. I like that. All right. So we just need one more, and maybe I'll do something cute, like an admit one ticket. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm just going to ink you. I think you're, you're pretty substantial enough. I can just do this. I'm thinking. Last one. Bringing it home down. Okay, what do we have? What do we have? Nice. Okay, so we have a nice collection of ready-to-go bookmarks. Now we can, I also, I did um, accent stamping on these just to give it a little more flair other than the base, the base one. Let me just zoom in on this a little bit. So we're just going to fill in that, that one with the, okay, I see. This one came up, this was a nice stamp. This one needs a little help. So I'm just going to go in here with my uh, my black marker and just pretend like I, I know what this butterfly looks like. Just give it some... Yeah, you can do, it's allowed. Yeah, no, no, there will be no craft police coming to get you if you do this. Um, and just kind of copy what the other ones are doing a little bit with the pen. And with the old trompole trick of the eye, who's going to know, right? Okay, maybe you guys, because you saw it, but um, there you go. You just kind of work it into the design, and you're, you're golden. So remember that there's always a way through it, around it, over it, under it. Um, another thing you can do, now obviously here I had the box, and then the main picture, and then a, a upper and lower design, but maybe I want to take this a little differently. Like, I want the person to write their name here, but maybe I want to put special delivery here, like even part of the words, just to give them an, like an area. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. There's like fuzz on here. Oh, Lord. Um, I don't know. You think that's a good idea? Well, we'll find out. It's only paper, right? Just remember that. It's only paper. You're goofing around. You're playing. You're experimenting. Let me back up a bit. And you're seeing how it goes. So let's take this on here. It's not sticking. I should probably clean that. That's why it's not sticking. I'm just going to put it down here. It's going to be half the word, but I think it's okay. There. Okay, I think that's kind of cool. We got special deliver. Delive. Delive. <laughs> but we all get it. We know what it is. It's all right. Um, I also have handle with care. Okay, we'll do that one. Okay, here we go. Just going to put a little accents. These have big ones already, so maybe I'll just do like little accents with the ones that have bigger designs. There, a little handle with care. Whoa. Okay, so we have something there. Now we have something on this one. And you don't have to do this other stuff. This is just for fun. This is just, you know, playing with what you got. Let's see, I have some 
What is this? I have registered. Okay, I'll do registered. Oh, this one looks like it would be good with a registered. Um, the admit one. Okay. And it could be off to the side. It doesn't have to be just at the bottom. It could be off to the side. There. Now that's looking oh, folded now. It has a crease. Now it's looking um, more formal. More, not like more office-like, I guess I would say. Okay, here we go. Um, I have this little guy. He's not truly a line, but he's line-ish, and I thought maybe he might go on this guy somewhere, somehow. So let me... Oh, I'm going to have the inkiest fingers today, but believe it or not, it comes off the nails. I know. I know. I didn't know either. This is water-soluble ink, so that's probably why. Um, I'm going to do like this. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I'll try that. Yeah. So, so you just got to like go for it sometimes and see how it's going to go. They all look different. It's just the way it is. Yeah, you just got to roll up those crafty sleeves and move forward and stamp that paper. You just stamp that paper with reckless abandon. <laughs> yes. These are fun, these little flourishes. It looks like a mustache, doesn't it? There we go. Hello. <laughs> okay. Let's try one of those. How about you? You look good. All right. I see they're all coming off their little... Their little backings. Okay, I don't know how to move them over. Yeah, they, they kind of slide over a little bit. I think the glue is just giving way. These high quality products that you have, Pam, it's amazing when you ignore them for years. Oh, let me put you here. Okay, just stamp it. Okay. There. Yeah, a little flourish just to give it something in the done pile. And what do we have next? Just, just keep going, Pam. All right. Um, Oh, what are you? You look interesting. Come here. Oh, you're Merry Christmas again. Yep, that was you. Um, Par Avion Air Letter. Air letters are fascinating. Air mail, because uh, they're so... Remember the really thin, light paper from air mail paper? Like, it's just like so thin. Okay. Now where do I want to put this? Maybe right under here. Okay, here we go. Okay, there we go. And now we're talking. Yeah, so you can just build these little collage images of decoration. I mean, there's, there's no right or wrong way to do this. You just sort of do it. And um, it's all going to look great. Because it does. It does. And, and don't second guess yourself. Just keep moving forward. Just make a whole bunch. Don't judge them. Stop the judging. No judging. Um, just make a bunch and come back and look at them another day. I swear, you're going to look at them differently another day A day at airmail service if you don't like them. If you like them, you can just be happy <laughs> right from the get-go. Okay, I'm going to put this on angle. Okay, you weren't expecting that, right? Yeah, you can go angle. You can totally go angle. And that throws in another little element to, you know, amaze the eyes as you're creating these things from nothing. Um, what else do we have here? We like all this airmail stuff. Um... You can do partials. Yeah, you can do partials. Okay, let's do a partial. Okay, I don't have all those little airmail. I don't have all those flourishes. What do I do, Pam? What do I do? This is what you do. You can grab a number stamp. Maybe you got a number. You got a number somewhere? I got a number and fuzz. Yep, there we go. Okay, I got a number. Numbers are really good. Yeah, because you can use them just about anywhere and they're intriguing and you're like wondering, what does that number mean? Is that like something really important? And we'll, we'll never know. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> there. Cool, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's really cool. Okay. Carry on. Um, okay, so I was going to show you a partial. Uh, partial is, let's say you have a little butterfly stamp that you like, and you want to just like get your little butterfly wing tips all inky. And maybe, maybe you just want to have a little butterfly, uh, just his little wing tips at the bottom. That's right. We don't have the whole stamp. We just have that. That's all we got. It looks like cat ears. But that's what we have. We can do partials, and it's okay. Butterfly goes with flower and vegetable and plants. There you go. We have a theme rocking it there. We can convince ourselves. Um, let's do some more partials. We seem to have a bunch of... Oh, yeah, look at these over here. Uh, oh, yeah, right. I see some... Oh, look at those. <laughs> okay, I found some long things. We'll use those in a second. I'm going to keep using the uh, partials for a minute. We got all excited about that. I found some mushrooms. Let's use some of these mushrooms. Hmm, these little mushrooms on the bottom, they might be cute. Okay, let's ink you up. Never been used little mushroom. Maybe here on this guy, he looks like you could welcome a mushroom. Can okay, maybe be some mushrooms down here. 
in the corner. Yeah, oh, don't touch it and then go back, Pam, just once. Okay, so you can do that. You can do like a corner partial. Okay, that's allowed. Yep, it is. And let's go back on the mushroom thing. Now you won't stick, right? Okay. We did the mushrooms. We do one of the, oh, this is kind of cool. Oh, this is good. Yeah, this has a nice little Queen Anne's lace topper. Let's, let's put that somewhere. How many do we have left? We have this many left. Okay, let's just finish these babies up. In the ink here. Oh, got my fingers in the ink, of course. Of course. <laughs> um, well, let's, 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 let's see if we... I don't know. What do we do here? I'm going to try and put this line on the side. So that's really a halfer. Let's see what we get. Okay. Okay, so we got a little something, you know. But just, just a little accent. That's all we're looking for. Nothing, you know. We, ha we ask for so little, you know, as crafters. We say that we will work with what we have. We're so flexible, aren't we? Here we go, we have an arrow. Let's use an arrow, okay. So the bird is going that way, so I'm going to use this arrow pointing in the same direction as the bird because apparently that's the way it goes. Nope, I wanna point it this way because it will point into the book. Yeah, there we go, thinking differently now. Now you don't necessarily have to attach your pre-made book plates to the page in front. You could actually tuck them into pockets and let the person put them where they want. That's just an option. So, you know, it might not matter which way the arrow is going. Maybe they want to put it in the back of the book. Um, people do put them in the back, backs of books. That does, that's a thing. It's a thing. It's a thing. Okay. Um, okay, here about like a weird line, like a spotted weird line. That we can work with. Should have had that in the beginning. Where were you? Where have you been all my life? Hmm? Okay, let's put you at the top. Yeah. Okay. And then we got room here. Remember, I went there. Okay. Yeah, like that. Okay. It's just like a little, little accent. Little accent. That's it. It's a little something, you know? We need something different for you because you're weird. Yes, you are weird. What are we going to use? Okay, what's that at the bottom? Other strange words? Postal telegraph commercial cables. Okay, oh, whatever. Um, more postal telegraph? Okay, we'll put that on there. That sounds cute. Postal telegraph. There you go. Yeah. So, now we have that. Okay, so I would say the big finale. Um, depending on, you know, you can leave these as is, or if you want, you can give them pretty edges. Like, let's say maybe this is sort of plain. A lot of them traditionally came with straight edges, but, you know, we are crafters, so we can, we can change things. And I'm just using a pair of designer fancy cut scissors to give this a, a pretty little deckled edge. I don't know if there's a name on it. Paper shapers. Um, oh, I can't. I'm going to cut off the word. That's okay. Yeah, I'll just be very careful. And then I'm just going to ink some of these to see what they look like in the end. Um, so, yeah, you can do things like that. You can use vintage photo. And me little brown dubber. Where are you, you little flagrant, tiny, barely alive? I know you can't be far. There you are. My little guy. Yeah. Well loved. Um... I do have more sponges. Somebody gifted me sponges, and I just need to get my butt over there and put one on. That'll happen. <clears throat> just give me a second. I'll, I'll make it happen. Oh, if, you're, uh, if your ink is not, not really super juicy, you can just squirt it with a little water. That's okay. I don't wake it right up. Oh, yeah. You're talking major wake, wake a thon. Okay, so we're getting that, which wasn't bad. I mean, like, how much do you want, really? But. This will, oh yeah, it's a lot more a week. You get, you get this rolling. Okay, so now you have little things like that. And you could do them in different colors if you want. Um, black or brown or always looks good. You're never going to go wrong. You can also round the corners on these if you like that look. Um, but I like to give it just a little bit of pop against whatever it's going to be laying down on. Okay, and um, hopefully that'll give you some ideas just to make your own little book plates at home on a nice, maybe chilly afternoon or a hot and sweaty afternoon if you just want to get out of the heat or get out of the cold and come on in and, and do some of these. You can have a lot of fun and make some great progress with your junk journals. Okay, so that, I think you get the idea of inking and what that is all like. So I'll just put down our Dunsies so you can see exactly what we did. Um, 
And now we have a nice selection to pick from moving forward. I really like these. I'm glad I took the time to do this. Um, I'll probably make a bunch more because these are fun and they're really nice to have at the ready. Yes, 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 yes. Um, so, so good to be back with you guys. Like I said, I missed you intensely. I was thinking about you nonstop, seeing what you were saying. You guys were also sweet. Thank you so much for all the kind comments and well wishes. And uh, yeah, the yapper is uh, pretty much in full force. Doesn't apparently see any uh, problems using it in the future if all goes well. So we carry on from here. And um, let me see if Mr. Snuffers has something. To oh, he, he wants to show you his new haircut. Yep, yep, he does. Hold on. Snuffers, come here. Oh, I hope my, my audio is still working. Um, here he is. And we're in. Hello, everybody. Hello, it's Sunshine. Um, well, I guess you can see I had a haircut. Yep. Oh, over. Oh, no, don't show that, Mom. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Um, um, you had a haircut. Yeah. And then what happened? It got cold. It got, went down to 47 degrees. And Mom turned up the heat, but Sunshine was still cold. Yeah, she had it up to 82, and Sunshine was still cold. So Mom pulled out the sweater. Ah, oh, yeah. She pulled out the sweater and it went on <laughs> and I wouldn't move. <laughs> it was like I was paralyzed. Yeah, I was afraid to do anything. I wouldn't come for treats. I wouldn't come to go to the park. I wouldn't come to go for a walk or go to the car wash or go to Starbucks or anything. I just sat there. Yep. And mom finally caved and she came over and she wrapped me up in a blanket, in the sweater. Yeah, it was one of those days. <laughs> Happy crafting, everybody. Glad to be back. <laughs> Why is your eye closed? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, he's fine. He's rolling. We're all well. We're hoping you are all well. And um, uh, welcome everybody who has been here. Welcome everybody who is new. Um, if you don't know, I have a free monthly emailed newsletter. Uh, if you sign up for that, you get a free digital image, a note from the bookmaker, which explains what a junk journal is and how to use it, a checklist of supplies to keep your eyes open for in junk journals, uh, junk journal related supplies. It's about seven or eight pages long. And there's a list of page ideas to kind of get you started on what to do with the blank page. Plus junk journal tips, updates from me, peeks at new digikits. There you go. And I have my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. My podcast, new audio material, comes out Tuesdays and Thursdays now that the Yapper is working again. And also, I have a bunch of video podcasts you can watch any day of the week on Spotify. Um, I also sell DigiKits, which are printables that um, are collections of pictures of themed. There's, I think, about 200 of them right now. Uh, so you might find interesting images to use in your junk journals for uh, journal cards, journal tags, pockets, tucks, all sorts of fun things, cover art, and um, I sell fundals, which are collections of old and interesting papers. Do I have anything that's old and interesting paper here right now? Not that I can see it. It's like there's a ton of it over here. But if you like uh, vintage or antique ledger, checks, postcards, uh, receipts, old photographs, black and white, I just got in. Oh, let me show you. This thing is so big. Um, I just got this in from England. It is a giant legal deed recording ledger. It is so fat. I don't know how big it is. I can show you like how fat it is. It's like so fat. It's so big. It's A through J for gosh sakes. But uh, it has a lot of really cool calligraphy in it. And these will be coming into the world of the fundals soon. Not for a bit. I, I've got to cut it up and all of that, but um, yeah, it'll be it'll be headed that way. So this is very interesting, um, beautiful, beautiful writing in here. It's on most of the pages, I think. Uh, but yeah, so stay tuned for that, baby. But just the book was so big, I couldn't believe it. Enormous. Okay, all the way from England. Okay, over here, over here you go. Uh, uh, okay. So there you go, folks. You can find me on, uh, I also have an Amazon shop if you're looking for favorite tools and supplies. Um, I have links for them there. You, uh, it does help my shop, but you do not pay more for the items by using those links. So thank you very much for everybody who has used those links. Um, I have a t-shirt shop. So if you like the phrase create with reckless abandon or everything is a craft supply until proven otherwise, you can get that on a t-shirt, a sweatshirt, a zipped hoodie, mug, a tote, or a water bottle. 
nice for gift giving or for yourself. And you can find me on social media on Pinterest, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, Facebook group, Twitter. Yep. Come and join our Facebook group. We're having a lot of fun over there doing weekly and monthly challenges and seeing what you guys make from these videos. You guys are so inspirational. Thank you so much for participating. And remember that fun can be simple, like with just a bunch of paper and stamps. And create with reckless abandon. And we will be talking to you soon. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.